So ladies and gentlemen, yes, it's that time. We're going to dive into those festive Christmas tours. And I'm here with Keith. Keith is one of the travel experts at Wendy with Tours. Keith, good to see you today. Nice to see you, Andy. And yes, we're talking China. As you heard, China is open. Yes, back open, ready. Very exciting news. So Keith, I want to know, what is China like at Christmas? Well, China's where it all started for Wendy Wu. It's, it's a sensational country to visit. And don't forget, Wendy Wu is the number one tour specialist for fully inclusive for China. It's got, it's got both sides. It's got the ancient treasures and things like the, the Great Wall and the glitz and glamour and the man-made sites such as the, the cities of Shanghai and Beijing. And it's so, something for everyone to see. But not only that, at Christmas, it's, uh, it's got a great climate actually. In December, it doesn't really get above four degrees. And it's actually the driest part of the year in, in China. So you're gonna enjoy the wonders of China in a nice fresh environment and temperature. And it's not gonna rain on you. So there's really little chance of rain. But what there is a good chance of is some snow, which will be amazing. And just to see China, you know, uh, the Great Wall covered in snow or the, the surrounding areas covered in snow might make for a magical Christmas if the, if the snow comes down. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that sounds fantastic. Love the idea of snow at Christmas in China. So Keith, tell us more about this festive China tour. Well, the festive chi China tour is actually the In Pursuit of Pandas tour. It's an 11 day tour to China. It leaves the UK on the 23rd of December. So not only do you get Christmas Day in China, you get New Year's in China as well. So it's a really wonderful tour. And don't forget, it's all fully inclusive with Wendy Wu, which and what I mean by that is all your flights are included, all your accommodations included, which is all four star accommodation. There's all your tours are included, all your tour guides are included, all your transfers are included. And don't forget, you've also got your out, our outstanding guides to be with you for the whole trip so you will have a sensational time. And this tour actually starts in Beijing. You get three days in Beijing. Then we wish you down south to Zhang, and you have two days in Zhang. Then we take you off to Chengdu for the last part of the tour. And you've got four days in Chengdu before you, you go back home. Keith, it sounds fantastic. I've got to say, I love the idea of this. So tell, tell us more about what the highlights of this particular tour. Well, yeah, it's an amazing tour. Um, so you start in Beijing, as we said, and you, you've actually got three days in Beijing. And we take, and it's actually, Beijing has actually got some of the most historical and most importantly political sites in the whole of China. Um, you've got Tiananmen Square where we take you, which is the world's largest public square. So a great place to be. And it's actually the final resting place of Chairman Mao as well. And then we'll take you into the Forbidden City, which was frequented by the emperors 500 years ago. And, and it's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So you can imagine it's, it's amazing inside. There's over 900 palatial buildings inside. So there's plenty to see. But not only that, we take you to the Temple of Heaven, which is a, a, a fine example of Ming architecture within Beijing and when you go to the Temple of Heaven we'll actually walk you through the park and it's really really interesting because as you walk through the park you, you'll get a glimpse of ordinary Chinese life you'll, you'll see the guys there around you doing Tai Chi and they're playing chess in the park so there's loads going on and I think they even do folk singing and stuff like that in the park so it's, it's a really wonderful time to be there and to go and see things in, in Beijing and then from Beijing we take you to Zhang. Zhang is actually the, the start of the fabled Silk Road. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's a hot topic at the moment, Silk Road, you know, everybody's talking about it. And we take it we take to Zhang, we, we do a tour on the on the wall that encircles the 14th century city of Zhang. Once again, incredible place to go. That's not really why people go to Zhang Lo. Zhang is actually home of probably the most important archaeological find in the 20th century. It's where they found the terracotta warriors. And you can marvel at these terracotta warriors which were carved over 2,000 years ago. I think there's about 7,000 of them and they're, they're kind of life-size and you can walk amongst the warriors and the chariots and the life-size horses. Incredible place to go. Afterwards, you get a feast of the, I think it's the Xuzhou dumplings, which apologies if my pronunciation is incorrect, but the Xuzhou dumplings and you have those and you actually get treated to a Tang Dynasty dancing show in the evening. So there's loads to see and loads to do there. 
From Zhang, we take you to Chengdu. We don't just take you to Chengdu, we take you on a bullet train to Chengdu. So it's not just getting there, it's a great experience just getting there as well on the bullet train. And in Chengdu, you get to see the Grand Buddha of Li Shan, which is the largest um, carved statue of a Buddha in the whole wide world. So once again, there's loads to do in Chengdu as well. Ladies and gentlemen, gosh, did you hear that? So many highlights. It sounds absolutely incredible. I know I keep saying that, Keith, but I think it just sounds fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. But tell us, what are we going to be doing on Christmas Day? What are the, the Christmas bits that are thrown into this extravaganza? Well, as I said at the start, actually, it's not just Christmas Day, it's New Year's Day as well you've got on this tour. It's, it's an amazing tour. Christmas Day, you're in Beijing, and as we said, it's a really good chance of snow. So, you know, in England, we don't have the chance of a white Christmas that often, but there's a really good chance you might get it. We can't absolutely promise it, but there's a good chance you'll get a white Christmas or a smatter in the snow around, so it'll be lovely. You're in Beijing, you're on the Great Wall of China, and actually our guides will take you to a lesser traveled part of the Great Wall, where you can have a photo opportunity. And you'll probably be just on your own on the Great Wall. What an amazing place to be on, on Christmas day, and hopefully with some, some, some of the white stuff around mm. as well, just to make it extra special Christmassy. And not only that in Beijing, we'll give you, we will swap out your traditional turkey lunch, your turkey dinner, for the traditional Chinese Peking duck dinner, uh, which is, is something in itself, a, a, a wonderful feast in the evening, and I'm sure will make Christmas Day wonderful. For New Year's, however, mm -hmm. we've got something exceptionally special. Um, we take you to Chengdu, and I didn't say about it earlier, because Chengdu is actually very famous for one particular fact. It's home of the Chengdu Conservation Centre, which is home to the pandas. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing place. It's actually a conservation centre. It's built around the, the, the panda's natural habitat in North Sichuan. So it's all kind of rocky and mountainous and everything like that. It's a big area and there's 80 pandas that reside there and you just get to see the pandas. And you get to see them do what pandas do. I mean, you'll see them munching on their bamboo and stuff like that, but they're, they're actually quite playful characters and you get to see them doing roly polies and everything. <laughs> they're really lovely and what a wonderful way to spend Christmas Day. Um, uh, sorry, New Year's, not Christmas actually, that's New Year's Day, um, we, watching the pandas. And not only that, afterwards you'll get um, treated to the local Sichuan hot pot dishes, which are traditional, and you'll have that on New Year's with all your newfound friends on the tour that you can share all your experiences with and talk about what a wonderful time you've had. I mean, and I think, if I'm being honest about this tour, when you get home and you say to your friends, do you know what? I spent Christmas Day on the Great Wall of China and I spent New Year's Day watching the pandas in Chengdu. I think that's a once in a lifetime. And, you know, hopefully with a bit of snow as well, a proper magical Christmas experience that you're never going to have again. Amazing, Keith. I tell you, it sounds spectacular. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm booking. Hope you are too.